It is the last day of school for most students across the Golden Horseshoe. Nicole Martin spent the afternoon at St. Michael Catholic Elementary, where kids were pretty pumped to kick off the summer break. Kids of St. Michael finished their final projects, packed up their bags, and are now gearing up for the long list of summer plans ahead. I'm going to spend time with my family and my friends, and we're mostly going to go to the beach. And I'm going to this place called Medieval Times. So I'm going to Cleveland, Boston, and Nova Scotia this summer. I'm going to go camping with my family. Um, probably to be hanging out with some friends and like going to Cuba with my family. The school's youngest students have a number of plans of their own. Um, my favorite plans is to go outside and join my mom and daddy and play soccer. Uh, we're going to go to the beach. In the cottage. We're going to this Students started the school year wearing masks and many were in cohorts, but the mandates were lifted during the March break and students here say it was nice to return to somewhat of a normal school year. It felt really great to see all my friends and it felt like really nice not to be onto a device anymore, just see everyone. From the youngest in JK moving up to senior kindergarten. To grade eights who have already graduated but returned for the final bell. Um, it's like kind of fun to like, you know, see everybody else. Just like, yay, yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's the last day of school. So like, why not just come back and help? So the students spent the day celebrating their achievements and reflecting on what they'll miss most in the summer months to come. And we got to listen to music today. So that was fun. But it's also really sad because I get to like, lose my friends like for the whole summer and also like I don't get to see my teacher anymore. Well, what would you like to say to your teachers? You're the best teachers ever. Well for me because I'm going to be going to high school it's it's pretty sad you know I've worked with these kids for five years and they're amazing it's such an amazing community. And just as the kids were waving their final goodbyes to teachers and staff many are looking forward to reuniting with friends once again in September. And Hamilton police are also wishing students a happy and safe summer break and police services in our area are taking the time to remind drivers to be extra careful out on the roads because there will be more kids at parks and playgrounds in the weeks ahead.